uh, with this video um, hmm. I did not expect it I did not expect it this I was quite shocked today when I had the opportunity to talk to Chris again this was like very very shocking I'm gonna be short this is a big plus that goes to Donald Trump because Donald Trump personally told me what the truth is I you know I kind of think this is true that this actually is his son out of wedlock and he left him here literally this is what he told me personally and this is what some other people told me that like a warrant like a guarantee that it's gonna somehow that I'm gonna make it through um, it's quite amazing it's quite fascinating I did not see Donald Trump lately in that kind of light this is shocking to me because I know both I know Chris and I know his lady um, she is from location you're about to see on a map I googled that and we passed one time by Chris and I had me with me and I was particularly interested in her and you know he took advantage and you're about to hear the conversation and everything um, just a really good person Chris Chris was one of the nicest people if not the nicest especially because people kind of knew that he is son of Donald Trump he would personal report to Donald Trump absolutely everything everything he could observe everything I would demonstrate under MK Ultra or whatever and would be assuring that I know locations and so on there were quite a few really nice people guys Americans were nice with me I gotta say I can really not record, uh, recall a single American guy that well one guy really was that was a wimp oh, he complained about me ridiculously stuff on me but the rest of it they were really nice guys but I'm shocked about it Chris I want to thank you very much and this is the friendship I'm looking forward to this is this is the friendship I'm looking forward to I like it it's great to know uh, American in a Poland this is a good stuff and this is what Poland needs Poland needs to open itself to the US more than Germany I'm gonna tell you that much it needs to open itself to the one that gives I was in this city folks this city was when I came here forget about 1998 one time when Donald Trump was here and had me with me right there on a square but in 2002 when we came you're about to hear Chris he's not gonna say directly he will not say directly and I have to say that I no longer will take if I recognize people and this and that I do like you if you know me which basically the whole scourge knows me and a lot of people from watch watch too just come forward and say hey you're here we know you we saw you and this and that because I'm not gonna be collecting this kind of stuff anymore this is a proven case uh, if you have something like this you want to say you're welcome otherwise you know I'm pretty much done with this Chris miraculously came forward and I'm gonna tell you Chris I wasn't your dad that uh, the only one that wanted you to stay here it also had something to do with other people I don't want to say who um, but they want to make sure that they want to help me out and that's I really do appreciate and want to thank Poland for that personally want to thank Poland for that Chris did not take easily stay here from what I remember it was extremely difficult for him it was a shocker especially after he saw me in in a, in a situation just as it was for other guys and he stayed here and I'm just really really presently surprised about that
I'm presently surprised about that. Yeah, I'm looking to forward to a new friendship. And I encourage folks to just come forward. I got a few more recordings like this that I recognize people, but I'm not going to be doing this kind of stuff. Uh, I actually want people to come forward and say, hey, man, uh, we know you, like few people already did. You know, I need the city to come forward. This was the biggest case ever in the history of humankind. And it, it's not going to go unnoticed. It's not going to go like... We don't know you and this and that and tra -la -la. Uh, Enjoy this audio recording. I, in real life, am a easy going person. Uh, humorous a lot. I like to joke. I'm humorous. I'm a positive person. Very positive, in fact. And it's probably not how you know me. Um, I have a principle that I pretty much adapt to all sorts of people from all types of backgrounds if i could just get along with everybody that probably would the best be uh, in my eyes so that's all there is uh, next video uh, in english the audio recording chris had to report personally to donald trump he was the most trusted person under mk ultra uh, and especially because I really believe, I really believe this was his son, this is his son, he had to be like without spotless, like without absolutely any mistakes. He is sacrificed tremendously and I have actually even heard Donald Trump that he would in fact recognize him as a son. Either way, either way. Um, either way, I am looking forward to a friendship, a long-term friendship with this gentleman. He is a really nice gentleman. Uh, and okay, let's see what happens. If anyone, Donald, if anyone, this is the only son that is going to save your ass, if anyone. The only son you have. Uh, we have to redo the video. Uh, the political... It's not opinion, these are facts that people are afraid to state. Does not reflect views of American gentlemen you're about to hear. It's exactly the opposite. He was like, I'm going to say like anti-politic. He was like anti my getting involved even into any kind of dispute between Moscow and Warsaw. Does not reflect his views as well as the people that helped me out along the way, that have identified me, allowed me to identify them. Uh, my views do not reflect their views in absolutely any way. But still, uh, I don't have this political party yet, but I'm going to have one. It's going to be called United Polska, uh, basically uniting all the Polish people under one umbrella for the sake of Poland, for the sake of the Polish nation. No division. Uh, none of the stuff Mr. Kaczynski does. And I'm going to fight for that. I was even suggested by Americans that I would go back to the U.S. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not abandoning this place. I'm staying here. For good, I'm staying here. And I hope we're going to do some good here for the people. Anyway, I stepped in a hole because I live 
almost with Paul Goku at night after finishing lessons. You live in or is that cold? No, no, in Gesbert, Salako, Paro. No, 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 in Osaka, you live or where? No, 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 in Gesbert, on the direction. In the dire in direction of Osaka? Yeah, it's like a big bus, 46 from here, and, and it's in a big farmhouse. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I know it's on Wojtek. Wojtek? Yeah, what Wojtek, about it? Huh? Wojtek, uh, what well, the guy that does uh, wood stuff, no? Mm -hmm. Wojtek, 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 Mielski. Mielski, yes. Yes, it's like, a, it's like a farm on, well, if you go this way, it will be a farm like on the right side. No, right it's, it's, out of it's the just meadows, meadows and on the back of the farm. It doesn't matter, but anyway, I stepped on a hole and I twisted it. Okay, just tell me something, please. Yeah. If you go, if you go to Ortozorka, how far from Zgesh is that farm? It's in Zgesh. It's still in Zgesh. It's, it's in Orzoko, yeah, of course it is 99. Zgesh, right. 99. Zgesh. Is it Ortozorka? Ortozorka? Ortozorka. Ortozorka. Okay, 99. Yeah, okay. from here. From here, one, two, three, four, five bus stops. I get it. But it's at the border, the end of Gesh. The end of Gesh. Yeah, so from the center of Gesh, five bus stops. I think that's it. Tell me about it. Tell me all about it. Okay, I got off the bus at 10 o'clock, finished up at school in Luj, and I stepped in the hole and I, because it was dark, because there's no light, because it's uh -huh. really at the end of the town, uh -huh. and I twisted it, and I didn't feel it, and I walked about a hundred meters on a broken fibula, uh, fibula, if you know Latin, but, and then I just collapsed, and it was broken, and then I went to the hospital the next day, somewhere around here, and they fixed it, and they told me to use crutches, but you know, I'm a stubborn person, and I didn't listen to the doctor, and I started walking on it, and I broke it again, and my tibia, the big bone. Oh, it, and then it. they were pissed off at me because I didn't listen. So oh, they put a big uh -huh. cast all the way up to here. Uh -huh. So for uh -huh. three months, I was just lying in bed. I couldn't move. I mean, really, just uh -huh. go to the bathroom, that's it. And then I just got the cast taken off actually last week. So for the first time since October, I've been able to put a shoe on the right foot. Seriously. I mean, uh -huh. I did not. So it feels good, and then I, as I told you, I start rehabilitation next week in Radagos. So, mm -hmm. Radagos? Radagos, in Bush. There's a clinic. In the, in, there's some clinic they referred me to. I don't know. I just started. I just went to check it out. But that's my story. And you? Do you have any interesting injuries? Do you look healthy? I am healthy. I think for the most part, I am healthy. Uh, I do have this thing too. Uh, ligament. 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 Yes, ACL, MCL, PCL. Which one? Uh, There's three in the knee. It's the ACL, anterior cushion ligament. Ooh, it's very bad. It's very you common in sports. Because you know uh, I played American football and it's a very common injury. And you didn't have that injury. No, my brother did. Your brother did? Yeah, and it ended his career because he tore ACL and... What is your brother doing? He's a teacher in Denver, Colorado. In Denver, Colorado. But it's because I played university football and it was a very common... And it's a common injury in soccer too. I would love to see your brother. What's he look like, your brother? Completely different than me. Completely different than me. He's got long hair. Uh -huh. He smokes marijuana all the time. Oh. It's legal in Colorado. Uh -huh. You only uh -huh. stay. Uh -huh. It's legal. Because uh -huh. it's... A state law. In Colorado, Only in Colorado. Legal? What about California? That's it's it. medical marijuana. Medical marijuana. Oregon. But yes. in Colorado, it's everybody legal. 18 you can, years old. You can just go and you can Only state. All you there's, want. There's other states. Hawaii, California, Nevada, Washington, Oregon. Medical marijuana is legal. But you have to have a prescription from a doctor. Like for pain, you have cancer. But Colorado is the only state anybody 18 years old or older can buy it. Funny, because you still have to be 21 to buy alcohol, but if you're 18, you can buy marijuana. It is true. <laughs> it's stupid, but... Ah. But anyway, it's made I a lot of... Alone, okay. Okay. Some people say it's better. Okay. 
I think marijuana is not good, I think any kind of drug is not good, alcohol including none of that stuff is really healthy. Okay. You can take it in moderation, it's okay. You do it every day? It, like anything. Yeah, it's true. Anything. Yeah. Like caffeine can be an addiction too, right? I People who drink, drink things. Oh, uh, see? But if it's caffeine, yeah, it's it's an addiction. Do. I guess it could be. Yeah. If you drink 10 cups a day, I mean, that's, nah, it doesn't matter. Some people, especially women, addicted to sweet. That's my fail. Oh, do you have a sweet tongue? I do drink a lot of caffeine. Right? <laughs> okay, we all have it. Yeah. So tell what, me, what? Tell me, uh, what are you, what are you up to? Do you see how long do you think? I, I hope to stay. It depends on your government. It depends on the government. Well, on the government or am I? Always. My residence card. Mm -hmm. Sorry, they fucked up. And it was the city. My residence card. My residence card, and I called. So you do you you do want to travel here in Paul? Yeah, I mean, they, I have two kids like, who have two different Polish mothers, and they're oh, po and they're, and they're Polish citizens, but their father's not. So how can they now give somebody like this a citizen? If your government in USA would if have no problem, they wouldn't get nothing out of you. Exactly, but your government USA would not have a problem, but your Polish government, and I'm not European citizen. You know what I mean? We cannot we cannot remind you and go on with them. Go on with them. Uh, I didn't vote for him. I hate that guy, but he won. I voted for the bitch, but a lot of people don't like her too. So, but I am a Democrat, but I didn't really want to vote. But I felt my duty was to vote. So, and my mom is all about girl power, girl power, Hillary this, Hillary that. So I voted for her. But I must the her husband to her because I heard she's a good kid. So I said, I like to do You have to do a good thing for her, right? You have to have massive size, many of them dominated profession, right? Politics. I'm thinking about that, because we need to think about it. Especially in Poland, you hardly have any women in politics. Compared to Scandinavia, with like 50-50 in Parliament. I mean, Polish Parliament may be 10% female. I'm just, I'm just trying to... No, it's an interesting view to have, but it's what, really I don't know what the hell the standard Mercedes is doing. I don't know what the standard Skoda is doing. This is not a Mercedes, this is a Mercedes. It's over. No, this is kind of a beautiful one. Did you kill the best one? Yeah, Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What time is it? Why should it be? Ah, come on. Right now, I'm going to skip. It's going to have to allow them. Are you actually going to be walking the place? No, 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 no. Are you going to be your place? No, it's my partner's parents' place. The parking stands like yeah. So you got this is like a third lady in the parking? Oh, no. I do, I do. It, it's just a friend. Okay, okay. But ex student of mine who is ex student. But we happen to have a child together, so but we're not gonna get married. So there's nothing to be a good one. Nothing to be uh getting married, no one. One for the Oh is it is it uh you can't get married. I did it once for one year. And that was enough, and that was a mistake, but I have a daughter from it, so you know. Would you, would you ever consider meeting with me? Not on a date, not for the date. Like, I'm do just it? a really funny guy, I like to joke a lot. Mm -hmm. my, my real side is like no, too much. No, you like women, I like women too. No, no, I love women. Oh, love but, but, yeah, but, yeah. but what I would, but I would like to, I would like to see somebody from the States. See somebody from the States again. It's been quite a while. Yeah. I was in the States. I was in the States class in 2009. And then I was in the States class in 2009. And then I left. Mm. Rush hour in the park. It's a lunch hour, yeah. It's a lunch hour. Maybe you should stand over here and say that. But it's also, uh, uh, I have noticed that people are just. Um, thank you much for saying to, let's say how somebody can just come out rather than to find an alternative, you know, or something like this. And I see this like, like a culture thing. I see this like, inside of this individual, that's who I am. You grew up with this? You grew up with this? Yeah. You don't know anything about that? I don't know anything about it. I know where I grew up with this. Right. Have you ever been to that? No. I've been to the forest. 
in the car somewhere? For walking it, well, when I was in a wheelchair, in a wheelchair when right. my daughter was pushing and my partner was the daughter? Now, and you was really 13. Wow, you got a kid in there, 13 or whatever. Yeah. That is nice. What about the other daughter? It's a son. It's a son? Michael. Oh? And he, he is one, he turned one in January, so he's one year and four months without it. One year and four months, it's a new one. It's a new he just started walking and oh, very active. So beautiful. So I have, I have a son and a daughter. So I different. think that is the most beautiful combination. The thing is that I would like to have in the same house for us, you know? Yeah? This is the same. The one lady. You know, life is life. And, you know, I'm not going to say it's what you make out of it, but I'm going to say you've got to enjoy it right away. Yeah, I've been trying to make the best of my situation. Having broken leg, I mean, I've spent a lot of time with my son. Specifically at the beginning in October, I was really, I had to lay in bed because this cast came all the way up to my waist, so I really couldn't move. It's just sort of bathroom. So we spent a lot of time hanging out watching TV, and he was, you know, only sleeping and eating them, you know, six months ahead of you. And sometimes watching... It's a big work, but... Oh, yeah. It's a big one. Now he's at home right now with his grandpa watching Bumichi. And you see, it's a very good part of it. No. More than sports, you don't No. Me and movie does it. You don't have to How many years have you been born? Two hundred. No? Two hundred. So many. With Greg? First came here in 2002 with a different oh, little girl I met at University of Colorado, and she was from Lewis, and she couldn't stay in the USA because their student visa ran out. And and I studied finance. One of the one of the girls you were interested in was a girl with a big, uh, you know, big Did book. Did yeah. 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 No. <laughs> Which girl? Um, so why was she doing hospital? She also was a she also was a teacher in law in a school. She had a, like a private school or something like that. In the hospital, what's up there? In the hospital over there at uh, Hospital Mary, right next to Hospital Mary. Yes. Yeah. Right. Burnett girl. Uh actually she was good looking, decent to uh, like a red like yeah, really good, 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 good. In short, shorter. Yeah, shorter. Yeah. That's my partner, Monica. Right now? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, there you go. But you guys know each other for quite some time. Oh, yeah. she was a student back oh, in 2007. No, you're too bad. So there's a long history there. Did I want to move? Sure. I did good. I'm going to post the subject to. I mean, the only way you can say no is if you don't want to see it as a dress. But other than that, I do it. I'd like to make it easy. Okay. I like you as a person. Uh -huh. I like you as a... Uh, uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long, long time. We've been trying to think of our last encounter. Many years. You never know where you're going to meet people. You could be in the parking lot by Tesco and McDonald's. And yeah, you never know. Good people talk to me. <laughs> so when you meet good people, that's just your tip. I've noticed a lot of bad people I'm going lately. Thanks it's people. Thing. It's thing. just tell people. But they just don't and help each other. And something has got to be done about it, because if it's not going to be something done about it, what's going to happen is it's never going to be any, anything out of it. Mm -hmm. You know? This is a big country. This is 40 million people. I know. And you yeah. have Ukraine. That's another 45. And the Belarus expands. And the Serbs and Slovakia is another 15, 20. Baltic states, another 10. And this used to be before one time, you know. I know. The empire. Empire. Yeah, and I know the, th the thing about it is that Moscow is like, how can I say? This is, this is like, don't say anything. I don't want to see that. Well, I've been to Russia. I know Russia. No, I mean, people are good. The government is dumb as fuck. They are primitive. One Ooh. word, the best is Russia is a primitive. Government. Government. The Soviet government is 
no different from the Balkan government in, in, Bel in Belgrade, in Serbia. And this is the aggressive, idiotic, primitive government. Almost a whole Serbian yeah. state. And, 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 you know what it is. and you know what it is. Like in Belarus, they what got a dictator. Is, what it is is that Yugoslavia would not fall apart if the capital would be based on, say, in Zaga, which is in Croatia. It's not even in Slovenia, I'm from Slovenia, but I'm saying. Because they're way oh, more Oh, that's aggressive. right. You're from Donald yeah. Trump's white country. I am from the same town. Oh, Melania. Really? Melania came to pick me up to the U.S. Seriously? In 96, she came to pick me up to the Was U.S. She, did she, she know Trump then? Did she know Trump, Trump then? Trump met her outside of the store, my store. Oh, God. You had her up <laughs> and bye-bye. <laughs> and now she's the first lady. She's the first lady. Her father is a KGB assassin. Not just a regular agent, but dude has got like a Udva record, like Udva, that's a theft, that's like people that recreate people. Take people out. And the interesting mm -hmm. is that previous, from Ivan Kostom, Carter was also a assassin, but from the Czech Republic. And so it seems like the Mr. Donald Trump, somehow, was, uh, for whatever reason... He likes Eastern there, European women. Uh, and those of strange people. Okay, I know it's a profession, Joe, but <laughs> I'm being humorous here. No, but right. I mean, is this exactly what you need to find as a spouse and a daughter of, I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, I'm just saying. And so she's from the same city as I am, same age as I am, and she ruined my life in the U.S. She ruined my life, I say. What's the big? Melania is not a bitch. Melania is actually a good part of the world. The thing about it is that her father belongs to, as you say in Belarus, a big cat of this old regressive again uh, society that wants to keep people like this for the throat, the entire society. Like let's say Katina in Poland. Two people on a silk collar. Right. You know what I mean? Like yeah. a dog that uh, uh, they can't breathe. Exactly. And do you so think the wants so to do that too? Well, from his brother wife in 2010 when the plane crashed, you should know that he is from Belarus. He was from Belarus. Maria? He is from Belarus. She wasn't a Pole. No, she's from Belarus. Oh, I did not know that. I know her name everything about her, her name Maria. 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 I know if she's not. This is a thing. His brother is not there. No, I said she is. No, there. she's not. Oh, come on. This is a conspiracy. No, 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 no. The thing is, the uh, conspiracy is when you don't investigate deliberately, when you don't investigate plain accident for entire nine years, that is an ultimate conspiracy against the nation. When you have the plane and you have a hundred people board that plane, a hundred police back here that want to go and pay respect to the team. And you take the car and you drive to instead with the car to the Russia, Kaliningrad or whatever, Belarus, and hundred people get blown because there's a bomb on the plane near Katyn. That is really a conspiracy because you have not only done that, but you have I'm not gonna say delayed, but obviously you have somehow prohibited for murder to be investigated for entire nine years. That is a very serious conspiracy. Uh, but, for instance, when the plane crashed in Ukraine, investigated the next day. They did the reconstruction of the plane action, the plane of everything they did, like, within days, you know? Mm -hmm. How, what are you going to tell me? I mean, Poland was a European Union member already in, I don't know, what was the year, no. 2010. I yeah. Think. No, uh, before that. When the Way Poland? before that, yeah. No, nine maybe because I was uh, I was divorced, so I had to be. The thing is, the thing is that the thing is that you cannot tell me that. It's been about ten years. It's like you were saying, you would tell they're going to let's not go over that because they're going to see us. But I think they're going to kill us. They're going to invest with us. Nobody's going to kill us. In Russia, in Russia, if you're a member of the European Union, you can tell the European member states please assist us with this investigation. Or you're a member of NATO. Or a member of NATO, exactly, and we're going to investigate it thoroughly. And so when you don't do this kind of stuff, please don't tell me that this is not the United States. So in bed with, with Moscow, that it's scary. And then the scariest part about it is, now look at this, you know, the scariest part about it is 
Don't look at it. The scariest part about it is that Moscow, which is regressive, which is not, which is not, you know, there's no progress, there's nothing. They don't give nothing. Like the U.S., they, can, they give them everything, technologically. They don't give in return nothing. They don't give anybody anything at all, anyway. Uh, rather than having Moscow run this slavic world of affairs, it should be run by Kiev and by Vodka, you know. It shouldn't be better that way, by Praga, by Bratislav and so on, by Zagreb and so on, right? So you get the maximum out of it, so you build a society and other than Sofia. Sofia is Bulgaria. But there's a lot of people. Well, Sofia is Slavic. So there's a lot of people. And, and I bet it's nice. You know, I bet it's nice. <coughs> I, I, see, I see the Bulgarian people are trying to make part good things, you know, for better. But, you know, the Moscow, like this, it's like, let's say, the two guys crashed here, and one would just come out and just stop beating the other one, and then there's no court, there is nothing. Like, I know personally, Julia Soigova, uh, let's say, you know, Tanya Soigova, I know these people. You know Soigo? Yeah. Soigo is the general, main general of the Russian military. Putin was involved in this. I was in Russia, they took me to Russia many times. I know these people, they told me, in Russia, what we do with a case is like a proven case. We never actually go through the case that, uh, that would give you the opportunity, but it is delayed for so long till you die, and then you die. And I bet they do other stuff too, yeah. you know. And so this is... Don't the make me think too much. No, so this is the kind of stuff, you know, this is the kind of stuff that, that you know, this, this place here, this Poland, this is the place, this is a good place. So this is where you can feel. You can feel here, Industry like at six times you can do things, and people are ambitious and they're work, hard work. It's rather than a Polish partner. Yeah. No, 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 but a Polish, even a business partner, just somebody with Polish nationalities, a lot harder. I even started thinking about studying my own school of languages, but you want to do it? No, oh, fuck no. I'm it's not sure. I'm interested in some. It's it's too much bureaucracy. I would give some English lessons to someone. It's I'm a teacher. I'm a teacher, but I wanted to have my own company because I also study business. I think it's the best way. I've always wanted to work for myself, but in America, it's so fucking easy. There's no bureaucracy in Poland. In America, in America, uh, of course, it's a little bit uh, It's because you already started to get adjusted to the system too much, so you need to meet somebody like me and remind yourself of what it is to be first in the same the country. And that's going to give you a simulation. It's been fixed in it. Yeah. yeah, you're going to throw this away and oh. say, Come on, here I am, Johnny. Johnny. Come on, we're going to meet sometime? Sure. It's up to you. I would love to meet with you. I would really love to meet with you. If you give me a number, you can trust me a number. Of course, but I don't know my number. Huh. Can we go? I need to sit down. My leg. I'm I need to sit down and get, put, take the pressure off. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to, uh, you know. This is a very good stuff, and in the parking lot, this will be perfect for me. <laughs> you never know what you're going to need in the parking lot. Well, you know, it's true what you're saying. It's true what you're saying. Who's the always business here? Whoever owns this McDonald's has a really good location and they're doing really well. You know, I know that because when I came here in 2002, this McDonald's was only one level. And now it's double the size, so that means they have money, they expand it, they have double drive through and it's open 24 hours, so... Whoever the owner is, you want the best pizza, I think. Thank you. That's what I think. But I'm not. I'm arrogant. There's many, there's many teachers. You are really not arrogant. That is something I will tell you. Arrogant is really not. Well, thank you. You are a gentleman. I can tell that. Okay. That was good.
to do with uh, McDonald's, you know, corporation from Chicago. Unless it was some American here to work too. Yeah? Uh, training probably? Maybe, I don't know. I know training, on training, on training, they were on training. I know manager, at least the teacher manager in Woods, and she said managers are sent to Chicago to the headquarters. Training. The training, but the managers were not, you know, lower level staff. Really? But she was, you know, the ones that wear the blue shirt. You know, everything's color coordinated. Like that woman, probably the blonde, she has the blue shirt, so she's the manager on the. Yeah. Uh, they, you know, they really change. Now they have all these like cappuccinos and smoothies. I mean, McDonald's is a corporation. Starting from a simple with Ray Kroc. You know what I'm talking about? The founder of McDonald's, Ray Kroc, near in Los Angeles. It was shakes, burgers, and fries. Three items in the 50s. And who makes all that? But well, then they look what they have now. I mean, they have breakfast, they have cappuccinos, smoothies. If you have the money, I don't think it's a good thing to do one. If you start early enough? It's the most it's expensive franchise to buy into. But you guarantee money in return. So, but I'm saying whoever owns this location, as I said, when I first came here, it was one level, now it's two, and there's all these people. In 2002, they started. But that's when I, uh, when I first came to Poland, I used to work at the British Center, which is down the road, or I used to be, I don't know. So and the British Center still is there. Uh, what, which school did I meet you at? Which school you met me at? Yeah. That I don't know, you tell me about that. I work so many different places, I, I believe. In Bush? Avalon? No, no, no. In Lut no, 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 no. Here, here in Poland, there's nothing. Hmm? There's nothing, nothing to do. Where? No, I'm not. I'm not your student. The school student. Then where the hell do I meet you? I'm just, uh, you are Sebastian. I know your name. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Uh, Tell me. Uh, so what the hell do I need you? Tell me, brother, what do you want to drink? Nothing. No. Now? What do you, what, uh, I was going to shoot you with something. No, no. You don't want? No. Are you sure? Well, uh, kind of, but. What, what would you like? Tell me. I'm fine, thank you. I'd like to speak with you. I'm cool. It's worth the fun. Is it ringing? Yeah. Beach Boys? <laughs> Kokomo? Kokomo. So that's Chris's phone number. Chris from Colorado. CC. I've got a few figure out. This is like one of my first phone calls. <laughs> I got up in this telephone. Oh, you have a new phone? This is brand new, 30 lossy telephone. I bought it. Uh, they destroyed me everything like that, and they destroyed me everything. <laughs>
center for the immigrants over there in Boston. I'm you mean you're alone, like without girl? You mean like where you live? Yeah, then. I don't. I don't have a room, and I'm still single. I, 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 don't I don't still haven't found what I'm looking for. Uh, <laughs> don't ask me I'm divorced, so. Lucky you. Oh uh, well, actually yes. When you see me, you can say so. It could be worse. It could be worse. Well, with women, it can be. Sometimes it's like. How is it a party scene? Which one? Well, tell me all about. Uh, how, how was it? In bed? No, not in bed. That's up to you. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, most women, compared to American women, I, in my experience, of course, I'm not no Captain Ola or you know, John Juan, but most women are more subjective. Definitely. Subjective? Man is in charge of the household. Yes. So that can be positive or it can be negative, like everything right. in life, but. That happens. I did that all the time with my friends, but those women are more old school. Yeah. They take care of their man, you know, like, which, for me, I like. So it's different. It's, 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 it's a positive. In my, it's positive. But sometimes, if, if you want, and I know a lot of, they're not me, but a lot of men, foreign men that I've worked with before, use the situation. Like, I mean, you yeah, use right, right, right. another woman, another right. day, another woman, like recycle women, and, right. and the thing here to cross, basically. Uh -huh. I've seen a lot of those. I've seen, and I've crossed this. <laughs> I used to live in Utah, I used to go, I used to live on Tukosta, near Kalitka, uh -huh. uh, near Kalitka, there's a lot of foreigners there, and I was mostly men, and I would just say, so what brought you to Poland? I want to cross. Basically, is what attitude of some British guys? You know, British women are horrible. No, I don't know. Oh, are they? They're teeth. What, what do you mean? mean? They're ugly. No, they're not. They're like, okay, but I'm, I've been to London. This is your time. taste. You have a taste like that. No. I, 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 maybe I'm like Mr. Trump. I like some other women. Beautiful. I had a Russian girlfriend, I had a Croatian girlfriend. Maybe that's girlfriend. Something, something out of you. It's <laughs> Trumpy. <laughs> well, Somebody maybe we just like Islamic women. women. You know, so I don't like his taste in politics. Well, I do agree. All the women are very beautiful. Well, Czechs too, Russians too. I mean, this area. Yeah, sure. I would, sure. So, you know, it's Slavic women, I guess, yeah. say, in general. Slovakian, yeah. Ukrainian, this, like a German, but it's British and No, this is not. Uh, you mean like a woman? Women are very beautiful. They're very beautiful, but, 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 but. It's something else if you ever become part of that society, eventually they accept you as something else. It's something yeah. totally different. But th I'm just giving you my experience. And so I, I value it. Yeah. And I, you know, I lived, in, I lived in Prague for a half year. And there's, a, there's a difference between Czech people and Polish. Oh, yeah? Even though you're both Slavic yeah. nations. Right? And Western Slavic, yeah. Western Slavic compared to Eastern because of Russian right. Victoria from St. Peter's Battle. Yes, it was a Russian accent, Chris, what are you doing today? Okay, that's a long story. You were in St. Petersburg? No, I met her in Prague, uh -huh. and then I met her again in St. Petersburg. Uh -huh. Did you went with her? Uh, no, we just kept in contact over email, and I went with my mother in 2005. On My mom loves to travel. Uh -huh. She's been an artist, she's been everywhere. She just came back from Antarctica. Your mom is very beautiful, right? Yeah. Like that. She's divorced and she's lonely and she her dog died. It was a boyfriend, so her, uh -huh. her therapy is traveling. Yeah. Hey, enjoy life. She's got the money. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Anyway, so a couple years after I met Victoria from St. Petersburg in Prague, I traveled to St. Petersburg and then I kept in contact and she met me. And he showed me around six weeks. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. It's a very beautiful place, mm -hmm. huh? I liked it better than Moscow, but that was my opinion. Oh, it's I think, different. in my opinion, it is way more beautiful than Moscow. Moscow is very vibrant, very cosmopolitan, very fast. And you have a bar to see and mm -hmm. lakes around and so on. It's and so I was beautiful. there in July and, you know, really? in so You've been paying a lot over there. But it was there in July. No, no, no. When I was when there, did you meet Victoria? In 2002, when I got my teaching license in Prague, we stayed in the same hotel. 2002. We just stayed in the same hotel, Victoria. 
Kendorvina Kendorvina? I don't remember that a long time ago but anyway I just remember St. Petersburg in July it was with my mom we were at a coffee bar or something and she's like what time is it? it's 8 o'clock and my mom it's 11 p.m. you know because the days are so long right because it's up there far north and short nights I'm pulling the tape and like mom it's 11 not 8 Aura, eh? Aura is. Uh, aura in Polish is Pogoda, is weather, but uh, up north Aura is, is um, north is north is sun. Hmm? Midnight. Like Alaska. Midnight sun. Like Alaska. Like Alaska. Alaska. And Canada. And yeah. North. Yeah. North. Yeah. yeah. yeah the when I was in Sweden in the north, oh. it, was, it was all dry. In the middle of the night. So winters could be depressing. Because yeah. it's a very short day. It's never depressing. It's a beautiful woman. Can't be depressed. I've only been in Sweden and Norway in the summer, so I don't know how it is. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. I think those are the two most beautiful countries in the world. Norway or yeah. the fjord? Ah, uh, Sweden too. I like Sweden Norway. Too. Norway is fucking expensive. The most expensive one in the world, I think. Norway? Because yeah. they're not in the EU. And I came over there and they wouldn't let me work and I paid everything out of my own pocket. So. I've only been to Sweden in the yeah. airport, but I, you know, Sweden is, I think, cheaper than they use there in the European Union, so... It, it is cheaper, but it's still it's way been, more expensive like than Finland. Germany. I have watched... Uh, yeah, probably. But it's probably my story, Bob, about Norway. I was there for two weeks. I had a free accommodation. Where about? In Oslo. Because my ex-wife is a painter in theater. A Polish woman who was buying a painting in Norway. So we stayed in her apartment in the center of Oslo. And we stayed for free, basically. Who was, who was your woman was at the time in Norwegian or American? Polish. She was Polish and she had an apartment over there? No, we stayed in her client. Oh, in the same the customer who was buying her painting. Okay, okay. This was a Polish woman right. who lived in Oslo. Right. Right. Uh, another Gosha, you know, there's a lot of... Like this guy, you think he's Polish? Well, you know, I don't know, you gotta ask him. Yeah, the black Polish man, have you ever seen one? <laughs> you gotta ask him about it. Yeah. I worked with a black guy from Zambia, but he had Polish citizens. He was a student. He was a student from Warsaw University in East Bay. Of course, he married a Polish woman, and now, you know, I worked with a Polish woman. So he's a foreign guy and a Polish woman. Polish woman are beautiful. True. Maybe you're cool. It's not even 12 o'clock. Are you working at the British Temple here? I did. What about now? No. No? I was tired of working with you. Preparing... It's for teenagers. Preparing kids, teenagers for FCE. You know, these certificates of Oxford. Okay. Like CA, you know, advanced. CAE and FCE, first certificate. And I prefer and talking with it all it's much easier. That's why Do you know how you learn Polish the English way? Right. All any language. What you hear the way they pronounce, you write down the way you hear. And first thing in Polish language what you do is you memorize the words how you hear them. By one side you write in English the word, and on the other side of the notebook you write I know. how you pronounce. But in Polish. And if you want, you can also write it on right next to it, you can do it also. But it's the problem, I mean, the good thing about Polish is, you know, it's spoken the way it's written. Really? I do not know, I do not know that. Oh, but in English, no, we write what we then we say. Uh-huh. That's what it is. To me, that was the hard part about oh, Polish. Yeah. No, English, oh, Polish? English is easy, that, but when it comes to Polish, the way you write, and the way you pronounce, it's like very different. Slovenian? Slovenian. And there is many words that uh, are the same words, but mean the opposite. Um. And 
Uh, I don't know why is this. Uh, I thought about that stuff. Like maybe because of the U.S. or something like that. Could be. The very same thing around. What they have? The Linguist. But I'm saying that's why the students make mistakes in English. But they got a lot of stuff in the same. Like the vegetable. 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 But it's written like table. Uh -huh. So they say or comfortable. Comfortable, but it's a simple mistake, or island, or uh, island, uh -huh. you know, because there's an S, but yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't say it. Yeah. Silent S, so it's, yeah. or they call me Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> Uni, June, if my friend introduced, but it's written J U N E, Uni. Like when I go to the passport office, Christopher Uni. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's me. Yeah. This is a simple mistake about the comparison of Jewish as a language compared to English as a language. Yeah. I'm trying to picture the new set would be a Zorkos by 1990 mm. I'm trying to picture that. It's, there's nothing. It's just big old farm houses. On the, if we're going the, on the, the left side, it's on the Right side is just open fields. It's supposed to be, it's not really what I am. It's, it's not a voided voided field. Voided voided field. Mm -hmm. Solarnia. Solarnia, no? I don't know. It's, if you go, you can walk maybe one bus stop and then you take a ride and you go to Rusty in the forest. Because I've been there when I was in wheelchair with my son, because my partner was pushing him in the store and I was exercising because I yeah, couldn't walk. Yeah, good for you. And it's good because I have asthma and it's fresh air. You have asthma? Mm -hmm. I have inhaled in my bag all the time. Yeah. But in making it in the fresh forest air, so... It's dry, and it is very good. Actually, it's dry. It was a big problem last year, cause if you remember, what was it, 18% of the trees were killed? It was a stupid law, remember? People were just chopping down trees. Uh -huh. Remember that? Because the stupid minister of agriculture said it was okay, and you lost 18% of your whole. I mean, as a nation. Do you have a farm over there? No, but I have trees, and I didn't cut them down. Oh, that's true. But my ex wife has a big place up in East Chester in Shetinska, uh -huh. also a big farmhouse, and my idiot ex brother in law. Decided for some reason because the minister said it was okay, he just chopped down 20 trees. Before he had to get permission to cut trees, but when this ex because the ex well, I guess the guy was fired, the minister of forestry in you know Warsaw's department, I think he lost his job, he should, but he had a flaw from my ex brother when he just oh now I can cut trees, I'll just do it all day, you know with the chainsaw. So it's really affected because of asthma, because you know. Oxygen comes from trees, so as you know, process. So yeah, it's true. And it was good actually because I have allergies, and it, finally I got my wish. It rained. Cause you know what is dust? Right. I have a huge problem with dust. So when it you rains, dust turns into oh, all very in pollen from the trees, like in the spring. You know oh when they open up, all die. I do. Okay, I so springtime is your worst, like me. Right. You take pills, tablets. I don't take anything. I did not even try my leg on it. Hopefully you never have to try it. I hope not. <laughs> it's not going well, right? Well, if you tap on something, yeah. Then you're not. Oh, yeah, but in Poland it's up. Not this kind I'm of wood. It's to be a very fine tool. It's very fine tool. I miss that program. Yeah. Too bad they don't show up most TV. Total typical Jewish New York humor. A good one. I like classes. It. I'm spread out yeah. you were in the States, but, you know, yeah, the typical four Jewish people, they don't really work, they just hang out in Manhattan, do nothing. I never was over there in New York. But I'm just saying, I mean that I would know it's like, I would have stayed or something But I'm just saying, both these American shows based in Manhattan, which is so expensive to live in, yeah. and probably the most in the world, Maybe. and they never have working, and they have these huge apartments, it's like, like the, the sitcom Friends. Uh -huh. Remember that was in Manhattan. Nobody was ever working. They were hanging out at the coffee shop all the time. 
<laughs> That'd be nice weather, but it's possible. But Do you have a car? No. You don't? In, in Colorado, in my mom's garage. Okay, but what about you? No. My partner has a car. He has a car? He works in Visa. Okay, so could you drive here on? I can drive. I have a license. You drive here? I drive on my Colorado's license. And I've been stopped by police in May, except for so You have been stopped by the police? In Warsaw. And you have a uh, Colorado license in Warsaw? Not, not a problem at all. Awesome, man. Just as long as I know that. I just go, they said, because by Okinta, you're not... You mean like a Texas robber? No, no, no <laughs> waffle stuff. <laughs> that was the old thing, but now I try. I could, I'll tell you the story. With my ex-wife, yeah. okay. by, by Okinta, yeah. there's a highway. And you're not supposed to change the lane, apparently. Uh -huh. And I changed, and of course, there was a cop right there. You know, he stopped me, and you know, I gave him my old, my car was license, and he, of course, he was staying in Polish. It, but my wife, obviously, she understood, and they were saying they're going to take it to the embassy, and I'm going to have to leave the country, and I was just, you know, this is not I know that, but I was going to shit my pants because I was, you know, my heart was just boo boo they were trying to talk you stuff like that? Oh, uh, her. They did to me too. Uh, but then got me, they got me lost. Huh? Without, without, on a turn, without a ticket. So what oh. happened? Tell me. So, but these are real cops. No. Yeah. And they, and this and that, and finally after, and I actually I opened up my wall and I said, push the bars Oh, no, 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 no. Because apparently there's cameras in the car. I didn't know, but I tried to give the bribe. No, 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 okay. And then the more talking and then mm -hmm. But after like three minutes finally he gave me back my license and he said in English, good luck. It was good. And I was thank you God. So that was my one time with police traffic police in Poland. They got me over there in Lord. I was with our ticket. I smuggled myself first when I came here. Yeah. I didn't have a defense. I didn't have any money. And uh, I wanted to go to a store with a used clothing and stuff. And so he just ran and they got me. And all I had with me was maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks or something like that. And so the guy says, where are you from? And he said, and I told the story about some rocky gear and that's all I have. And he said, what about that? You have a, you have a credit card? That this card from the kid on the right station? The free, free card is there. I said, I said, you can have, uh, you can take as much as you want. There's nothing over there. It's not, not a dime. And so, you don't know what's going to do. We're going to take you to the jail and go back to Slovenia and this and that. And I was, I was like, yeah, you can do it. No, I, I, my heart did not roll. Really. There was a girl, there was a, no. I'm kidding. Seriously, come on. I don't know. Yeah. What are the stars that you have? No. They like to see that. I know. It's so easy. Like I like Polish people, but I don't like the Polish bureaucracy. I'll say that much. I like Polish people. Also. people what, what kind of people? Like with my residence dog. They forgot. They just sat five, six months doing nothing. Because they just forgot to do it. And it's very important for me. Uh, what do you mean by just they forgot to do it? I have a case. Because I've lived here since 2002. They have all these documents. And now they have a copy of my college diploma, okay. but now something changed, they want original, and it's in Colorado, of course, wow. in the past, the photocopy was announced, and they want the original, like of my temple certificate, which is the teaching certificate I got in Prague, but I have that here, but I didn't have my university. And they did this, they did this for the residence permit, so my mom had to call to my university, because she lives in Colorado, and ordered an official copy with the stamp, and it cost a hundred bucks, and yeah, that was they are the of course, of This course is the legal way. I tell you what, they would not allow me to work for you, like they wouldn't just my case, but it's a really, it's a pretty big case. And what they tried to do is delay, delay my work permit. That's what they did today? Right. And so but now you're a European Union citizen, so you don't have any problems. Well, actually I do have a problem. Actually, I have, actually I have even more problems than what you do. 
because then Europeans are a citizen, because if the Europeans are a citizen, there's a thing with the law that entitles the government, any government European, within the European Union, where you would attempt to file for political asylum if you're from another European Union state, to decline the right to file for political asylum because you are from another European Union state, which is of course illegal because it would be like saying there is no crime within the European Union. You know what I mean? There's no corruption within the European Union. Right. 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 That is insane. But there is such there is such law. <coughs> I have a field one. I, I did that kind of stuff. Uh, but it, it is offered me dearly. And when I did not get response and time from them, like for instance, you mentioned that you waited for like five months. Yeah, but nothing. That's when I contacted them. I sent them a fax and a request from them an update about my work permit. The process, exactly. right? Exactly. Where's my work permit? After six months, I think they do work permit. And so, um, instead of that, I had to reapply to for the outside. So I was not lucky in that aspect. Um, but when I think about it, when I go over, it was in my best interest in, in from a certain perspective they did this because of the stuff I needed to get out here, because it's true. But when I consider the fact that, you know, you were in a in a place where um, there's all kinds of stuff that went on, that was not exactly my best interest in, in my worst interest. Yeah. So it, 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 it all depends, you know, but I guess it's how they want. It is their best interest. Uh, and so that's where we're going to go from. Well, is that Victoria from St. Petersburg? Petersburg, yes. Victoria? Uh, a few ago. I wonder what she's up to. It was, and she barely spoke English, and I can't speak Russian. It was very quick, right? That's now. Almost pretty much like a wow. That's easy. No book like Boom to the bed. Okay. Do you have any disease? You didn't ask me. Okay. That's what she asked me. No, I was thinking this because he didn't ask me anything. But I'm like, you know, you always. We all think about that, but we never ask. Of course. But we all think about that. It's happened to me before. Just like many times. Every man who says that sort of something is a thing. It feels a hundred times better without the brain code. Have you heard that slang? Thank you. Sure. So, Andy, have you ever heard that slang? For a condom? We call it rain coat, like a rain jacket. You know, because the texture, you know, the small right. jacket, but don't forget your rain coat. It's a slang I used to say to my okay. friends. Especially going out to the pubs that night. Don't forget your own coat. Or take a chance. It's like Russian roulette. That's why I don't play one. <laughs> but in 2017, I wasn't there. In 2017, I was in Belarus. I fought for political economy in Belarus. 2017. Why the hell would you want to live there? Maybe I wanted to scare the people over there. <laughs> or scare... The boy got sitting in the pants in this What's his name? You got control? The mission is like, uh, in the North Korea. Because they asked me over there in the... At that time, I was very curious. I don't know what happened to me. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, they're making a hook up later. Both countries are dictators. Yeah. Right? Belarus is the only last dictator in all of Europe. And Putin was on my list of friends. Personal friends. On the page. On the page. On the page. On the UK. UK? Yeah. <laughs> they're friends. <laughs> well, it's probably get going. You too? You're going to yeah, work? Yeah, I'm going to go and finish something which I have to post all the stuff today and, and finish the stuff I get from. I'm going to the work. Okay. I'm just going to do the stuff I have to do with you. But I would love to meet you. Yeah, well, now we have contact, so we can take the next step. Yeah? Whatever is. You have uh, my new site? The new what? The name of my new site? No. I give you the name of my new site. Is it on the paper? No, it's not. I gave it to you the last time I gave it to you. Yeah. I... Okay. Okay. I get it. We're uh, we'll be in touch. We're going to do the alcohol car? No. I'm going to babysit. Do you ever want to drink something? No, no. I'm going to babysit. Okay. All right. I would love to.
things this way? No. Thank you. 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 Thank you.